And tonight we are getting a closer look at the effects of Sally on Gulf Shores, Alabama. Look at this, all this water left behind. The National Weather Service says the storm dumped 15 to 30 inches of rain in this area. And in Pensacola, the high tides and floodwaters continue. Look at these houses surrounded by water. Some people unable to get out of their homes for good reason. And tonight, ABC 27 Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders joins us from Pensacola with what's being done to get things up and running as communities clean up. The site and sounds of recovery are filling Pensacola as this Gulf Coast community reels from a storm that seemed to catch everyone here by surprise. The storm stopped and then changed direction at the last minute and you know we were all prepared for a tropical storm and we weren't expecting this. Kathy Struch and founder Sailing Academy of 20 years smashed to pieces at Palafox Pier. Boats there pushed on top of each other, some finding the bay's bottom. Thoughts and prayers weren't going to cut it, she said. We've all heard too much of that, so send supplies, send love, send people when we can get things back and running. Across town, power out, water service cut off, but family, friends, and neighbors were working to pick up debris and put their lives back together. Right about now is, is, is a good thing to be more neighborly. Eddie Smiley was helping fix his nephew's roof, punctured by a downed tree. The two feeling lucky damage wasn't worse in a year that keeps delivering blows. It's all this chaos, and on top of that, you get a storm. A different kind of storm at the gas pumps. The few with power packed with people, grabbing all they could. This is some kind of aggravation trying to run all over the country finding gas. Bill Wiley was frustrated after spending the morning searching for fuel. The Floridian saying better preparation should have been made. It is terrible. They, somebody has dropped the ball. And the president has issued an emergency declaration for that part of Florida. It's helping free up money for recovery and other resources. 